फर्स्ट डे ऑफ एरो इंडिया 2019, देर वॉज अ बिग अनाउंसमेंट मेड बाय लॉकिड मार्टिन कंपनी फ्रॉम द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स इट सेट दैट एफ ट्वेंटी वन अ न्यू मल्टी रोल एयरक्राफ्ट स्पेसिफिकली डिजाइन एंड एनहेंस फॉर इंडियन एयरफोर्स इज बींग अनवेल्ड दिस अनाउंसमेंट हैज कॉट मैनी पीपल बाय सरप्राइज बट समथिंग दैट इज नॉट अनएक्सपेक्टेड इन एविएशन सर्कल्स what does it mean for india and what does lockheed martin plan to do with the indian air force uh, going forward to talk about all that we have with us uh, vivek lal who is uh, uh, the senior vice president for business development and uh, he is uh, leading uh, the us delegation at aero india 2019 thank you very much vivek for your time and uh, this big announcement today has caught many people by surprise but uh, what is it all about We are unveiling our F-21, which uh, is a new fighter for India. It is specifically designed and uh, and fits the Indian requirements, so it's unique for India. And uh, you know, it provides increased growth capacity and it provides increased lethality, increased uh, affordability. And so, uh, there are some aspects um, to the aircraft that are competition sensitive. however it's a new animal even from the outside as well as the inside and uh, we're very proud to be offering this uniquely for india excellent news uh, as far as indian aviation aerospace and defense is concerned but many people have commented the moment this announcement was made that uh, it is nothing but renaming f16 block 70 uh, so would you clarify what exactly it uh, actually the position is yeah so the f21 uh, as i mentioned is unique for the indian air force requirements mm-hmm. and so um the indian air force has a set of requirements and looking into the future right um so we have incorporated the best technologies including the fifth generation radar technology right. in this aircraft so mm-hmm. this is a new offering for india you also spoken in the past about uh, make in india and uh, the plans that lockheed martin has for india and the indian defense sector right uh, also some offer was made or some offer is on the table that you will move uh, uh, many of uh, the facilities uh, for uh, f16 uh, to india That's can right. you just elaborate a little bit sure so we have two joint ventures with tata in hyderabad mm-hmm. and uh, about a thousand people there one joint venture makes the c130 empennage right the other joint venture makes the s92 cabins uh Sikorsky helicopters and what we announced a few months ago is that all future F16 wings will be produced uh in India right. so that is a very significant step that's regardless of which aircraft India chooses going forward right. we are going to be manufacturing the F16 wings here right. and uh, we have talked to over 190 companies mm-hmm. large uh, medium small mm-hmm. public private right So we have combed the landscape and India landscape from a supplier ecosystem perspective. Sure. And uh, our strategic partner for the F21 is Tata as well. And we um, are looking forward to working with the entire aerospace ecosystem uh, into the future. Right. You also, of course, uh, must have uh, heard. I mean, it's all. I think in the final stages, uh, the helicopters for the Navy, uh, which Lockheed Martin has uh, sort right. of won. Uh, what is the progress there? So the uh, U.S. government has received the LOR for 24 MH60 Romeos, and we have, um, uh, you know, they will be responding to that. And so we look forward. I mean, MH60 Romeo is a is a a very experienced uh, uh, asset in the U.S. Navy as well. Right. And so uh, we recently received the EOI for um, the NUH opportunity. Sure. Yeah. So we look forward to that. Right. the um, final question i have is uh, about creating an ecosystem in india you spoke about uh, co- having combed the uh, the ecosystem here or the large medium uh, small industries um, what would you tell uh, indian msmes uh, when they are looking for partnership with or to, uh, or to become part of the uh, supply chain system for uh, lockheed martin which is such a large defense company right what would they what should they be looking for and what is the uh, qualification they must have yeah so i think there are great pockets of excellence based on our uh, survey of the landscape we in fact in bangalore recently did a four day supplier event 
where we had 19 of our tier one suppliers uh, for the F-16 come and uh, talk to 69 Indian companies. So we had a four day event and we'll be doing another such event soon again. And the idea is to uh, kind of match make uh, where are the capabilities and pockets of excellence here and uh, uh, marry it to our supply chain that exists currently. I mean, in terms of the requirements, of course, performance, capability, quality, and to have the right skill set. And so many of the initiatives like Startup India, Skill India, and the great initiatives of uh, the government uh, kind of feed into that. And we are trying to address each one of those initiatives uh, through our supply chain and marrying them up with the Indian supply chain.